Hello, school spelling bee coordinators. Thank you for coordinating your school spelling bee this year. I'm John Kane. I'm the district spelling bee coordinator. Let's look at the timeline and we'll go backwards on the timeline. The district spelling bee is Thursday, January 22nd in the governing boardroom at the district office. And I'll give you more details about that as the date gets closer. The winner and the first runner-up from each school spelling bee may participate in the district bee. So you can send two spellers from your school spelling bee to the district bee. Uh, all school spelling bees need to be completed by Friday, January 16th. And then you need to let me know who your winner and first runner-up was. For the school spelling bee, it should have a pronouncer and at least two judges. The rules say three, but I know it's hard to get three. You should shoot for two. I will happily be the pronouncer at your school spelling bee if I'm not already scheduled to do it at another school bee at that same time. So let me know if you want me to be the pronouncer at your school spelling bee. Where should you hold your school spelling bee? Uh, that's your call. My recommendation, if I was doing it, I would hold the school spelling bee in the media center, and the only people there would be the spellers, the pronouncer, the judges, and the speller's parents, if they can make it. I know at some schools, they like to hold the school spelling bee in the cafeteria or the auditorium and invite uh, a large audience of students. I've seen situations where that works really well, and I've seen situations where it doesn't work so well. But you can decide how you want to do that. As far as organizing your classroom spelling bees, once again, that's your call. There is no minimum grade for the classroom spelling bees. Typically, uh, the lowest grade is third grade, so it's third grade through eighth grade. Uh, some schools just do fifth, sixth, seventh, and eighth grade. Uh, that's your call. Uh, sometimes, uh, in the past, we have had third graders qualify for the district spelling bee, so don't underestimate third graders. But you can decide how many grades are going to participate. I would just suggest making an effort that any student who wants to be in a classroom spelling bee uh, should have the opportunity to be in a classroom spelling bee. You should be getting a word list to use for the classroom spelling bees and the school spelling bee. If you don't get a word list, let me know and I'll get one to you. And if you have any other questions, uh, let me know and I'll be in touch with you as we move into January. And what follows is a short two-minute video that kind of gets the highlights of the rules for the school spelling bee and the district spelling bee.